Hey guys, this is Jeff with TaylorMade Mini Goldens. I'm going to be unboxing a Costco Vita garden box um, to turn it into a whelping box for one of our females that's gonna have puppies. Um, I'm just gonna show you kind of the basic setup and then how to add uh, pig rails. I know there's a lot of different options to do, to do that, but uh, um, we found a, an option that works well for us um, that creates kind of a sturdy pig rail that won't rip off the side if, if uh, one of your kids sits on it or something. Let's see here. Dang it. Where is your pig here? All right, this is how the Vita garden box um, comes. The box was ripped a little bit, but I don't think I'm worried about that. It should be in good enough shape. Um, let's get this thing opened up and parts separated out. All right, this is how the, uh, it's actually called the keyhole garden, I believe, because it's got this little gate that you can put in the middle um, to add compost if you're using it as a garden box. Um, but in this case, a whelping box is much more important to us. We have other um, garden boxes that we, we made from scratch. But anyway, these are going to be the panels. You've got the, uh, the end posts. Should be four in there. Um, yeah, pretty basic setup. Let's get it together. All right, here's our uh, keyhole garden box unboxed. There's all of our side panels. There should be two panels per side. There's our four corner posts. There are corner post caps. And then this is our little keyhole box, which I will just set aside and use that for one of my uh, raised garden boxes in the backyard next year, possibly. I don't need it for this. And then here's the instructions for putting this together. I'm going to put this way over there because they probably just confuse you. This is easy to put together. All right, first panel started. Got one post on. I'm just going to show you this is this is why you don't need the instructions because uh, there's a little notch you can kind of see on all of these corners. So you can actually um, pretty much put it together however you want. But that slides over this groove in the panel. Uh, it's a little bit easier to, to push down on, on this than it is to push the panel into it. But uh, there's there's the start of our first side. Uh, we can go ahead and actually put the back panel on. These fit tight, which is actually really cool. Um, it's not as flimsy like you think it would be, made out of vinyl. Um, it ends up being a pretty, pretty sturdy garden box wall. And then uh, we'll finish the other three sides. The, the last side, I'm only gonna put one panel in, obviously, so that mom uh, can get in and out of the box easy, but the puppies can't. 